Naya Nugan, a genie Naya, lak umnan mege. Bomo gala apa ye. Ne lama imi amka amga. Memgam gamgi, nina geguan. Am nerna hanak. That's excellent news. Mem ilik meraka, naya naram. Kam kalu amik manik. Mana la yang perlu. Amka kalami naya kira nubua. Excuse me. Yes, could I speak with you for a moment? I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi, but I'm curious if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. Why would the crew want to talk to passengers? Is something wrong? I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant, but I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. Since we don't know for sure the Imperials are following us, let's not worry about it. I just wish I could get someone from the crew to answer my questions. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. Telling the passengers that Imperials are nearby would only cause a panic. I suppose. Still, I think it's unsettling to think that there might be Imperials behind us. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! All hands! Brace for incoming! Repeat! All hands! Can you hear me? Are you all right? The Imperials seem to have forgotten about the treaty. I knew the treaty would break eventually. But I didn't think I'd actually be here to see it. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go, hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. On, Tyrus! You can make it, sir! You can make it! He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out! Shields are out! Comms are out! There's nothing we can do! I've come to offer my services in defense of the ship. If you want to be useful, Jedi, then get out of here and stop interrupting us! Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat! We're as good as dead already! What's wrong with you? Are you really going to let your ship fall to the Imperials so easily? That ship behind us is one of the biggest in the Imperial fleet! We didn't stand a chance! Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh. Well then put them on. Republic Transport Esselus, this is Grand Morph Rikus Kilrin. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. We're aware of our situation, Kilrin. Just tell us why you're here. Your ship is transporting a known anti-imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. <laughs> Interesting. Lying or incompetent? No matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. You have spies aboard our ship? I have eyes everywhere. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where is the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight, they'll slaughter us. We have to cooperate. It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'm glad we're all on the same page here. 
Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Maybe so, but we appreciate your help all the same. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Zedman, this is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir, no, sir! We aren't fighting alone. An experienced volunteer is going to help us. The imps won't stand a chance. My lightsaber is at your service, Commander. You hear that, man? Our friend here is gonna chop through these imps like nothing. The imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. We've done it, man! We've done it! The ship is saved! I'm sorry, Commander, but that... That isn't the case. We defeated the entire boarding party. Nobody could have slipped past us. No, you're right. It's not you the Imperials slipped past. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. Mandalorian mercenary? What are you talking about? The Mandalorians work for the Empire. They're some of the best warriors in the galaxy. And Iron Fist is one of the most famous. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. Just what we needed. More trouble. We have to do something. We have to act fast. What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I travel to Imperial-controlled planets and convince their governments to come over to our side. Confronting the Empire for the sake of diplomacy takes a lot of courage. I'm no hero. I just show them an alternative to Imperial control. But we can talk about my work later. We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. A security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salen might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salen before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. You're a Jedi. Chief, hey, Chief, look, there's a Jedi out there. You must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have it sealed off. The imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed, too. Are you going to be safe in there? Do you need help getting out? Getting the bridge back in our control is much more important. Now, let's see. What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. Tell your lackeys to shut up unless they have any ideas we can actually use. He was just trying to help. Besides, he gave me an idea. The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduits shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. 
I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. We can't send these people to their deaths, not when there's an alternative. Fine, but you're dooming everyone on this ship. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. It takes a cruel heart to say something like that. I'm practical, nothing more. You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you. How you managed it, but you did. Security doors around the bridge have opened. The bridge is open, and no innocent lives had to be sacrificed to do it. You were right. I'm sorry. Please understand, I didn't want to kill anyone. I just... it seemed like the only way to be sure. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though, and that's no small challenge. What do you know about Iron Fist? I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. A Jedi's limits must always be put to the test. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy. This is Narlock. Set for second offensive? That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's get busy right away. Good luck. Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? I do not fear you. Just give me a decent fight for once, will ya? Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to work. First Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilrin's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. If this is what must be done to save the people on this ship, then I'll do it. I knew we could count on you. I've been aboard warships like Kilrin's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. Hmm. We need every advantage we can get. I don't think that's the best course of action. Look, if there's any chance I could make a difference, then we have to try. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hey, hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. She was just doing what she thought she had to do to save the ship. And she would have killed a lot of good people if you hadn't stopped her. Thank you. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. 
but there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. You want me to hand the Ambassador over to the Imperials, don't you? Yes. For the sake of us all, I want you to leave Asara behind, on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape, but Kilrin will just chase us down again. Unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. Don't let your anger at the Ambassador cloud your judgment. My judgment isn't clouded. This is what has to be done. I'm sure of it. Just think about it. I'd even make it worth your while if things go the way I'm suggesting. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck. I've seen some incredible things in my time, but you've just topped the list. I'm sorry I couldn't greet you in person. If only you had let me know you were stopping by. If this is a bad time, we could come back later. Oh, no, not at all, I assure you. I'm quite prepared for your visit. My men will be along shortly to escort you to the accommodations I've arranged. I guess this is where the fun begins. Iron Fist wasn't the only weapon in my arsenal, nor the deadliest. See you soon. Oh, that's right. It's getting out of hand. You're leaving me with precious few options. That's right. Greetings. At last, a real live Jedi. How I've looked forward to this. A true Sith cannot go long without a true challenge. I won't fight if you don't make me. Pitiful words. Don't waste your final breaths with them. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. When I carve your heart from your chest, your fellow Jedi will sense your defeat, as will my master. Turn back from the dark side. Help us save the lives of innocent people. Those not strong enough to survive by their own hands deserve death. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face oblivion? Your big talk is wasted on me. You're right. Words are nothing without action. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? First Officer Hawken doesn't want you to come back from this one, Ambassador. 
He thinks she'll just cause more trouble. Is this a joke? That spineless, indecisive. He wants you to hand me over to the Imperials? Unbelievable. After everything I've done to save the ship, everything I've done for the Republic, that scum tries to betray me to the Empire. Wait. You didn't actually agree to leave me behind, did you? I wouldn't leave you behind to die, Asara. Good. I was about to... Well, it doesn't matter. Come on, we've wasted too much time here already. Let's go. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. Only doing what was right. There's no reason for modesty. What you accomplished here is truly amazing. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need. The same way you saved us. Please, keep your credits. I'm sure you all need them more than me. That's extremely gracious of you. Thank you very much. Ambassador Asara, it's... it's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. Really? I imagine it comes as a bit of a surprise to see me here at all, Hawken. <laughs> I... I don't know what you mean. Of course I'm glad to see you. Why would you think differently? You offered me a reward to leave her on the Grand Moff ship, Hawken. You must have misunderstood me. I would... I would never. I, I wouldn't do something like that. Thank you for telling me the truth. And for everything else you've done here. The Republic needs heroes like you now more than ever. I was only doing what was right. I mean it. If you hadn't been here, they would all be dead for certain. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrin is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. Sounds like I'd better keep my guard up from now on. That would be wise. There's nothing Kilrin isn't capable of. Anyway, enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again, and good luck in the future. That's right.